up everyone? Chance here with Missouri Outdoors. It is September 16th and we are at the land in Douglas County. I just got here, I don't know, like 30 minutes ago, got set up. It's probably 4.15 or so now. And I checked the game camera down there. Yeah, right over there. And so far, there were deer here uh, day before yesterday. So this is like the only spot where I've had deer actually coming through during the daylight. So we're going to sit here and see what happens with any luck. There's a big buck coming through here that I don't know of yet. I didn't get through all the trail camera photos. I got to finish doing that, but I saw enough to justify going go ahead and hunting so we got everything set up so we're gonna sit here till dark and see what happens I'll let you guys know if there's anything super interesting on the camera but all right guys I hope you enjoy this if you do, make sure to leave me a like down below, share this video around, and as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. But alright, stay tuned. Hopefully we at least see some kind of deer tonight. Alright guys, well, I went ahead and checked the rest of the pictures on the camera. And I don't know what the deal was. When I was down there, it told me it was completely full. And that's a 16 gig chip. And when I got up here... I looked through pretty much all the photos I looked at while I was on the ground. And that was it. And when I checked it again, it said I still had 15 gigs. And I was like, well, that's weird because you just told me you were full. It's one of the reasons we got in the stand. But the good news is all the deer activity has been within the last two or three days up here. So maybe they'll show up tonight. Who knows? We had um, some does, the weird looking um, small basket rack six pointer, and um, a couple more photos of the bear, but that was pretty much it. There hasn't, other than the last couple days, there hadn't been anything here since the 9th, which there hasn't been bait here since the 1st. That was, well, when I came the first, it was all gone already. And I haven't put any out, so. I don't know. Looks like they're coming more to the mineral, or there is a lot of acorns under the stand and around um, these trees I'm under. So they may be coming up here to pick acorns because the grass ain't that tall. Who knows? I guess we'll go ahead and sit here till dark and see what happens. We might have a bear encounter. Who knows? I don't know. If I end up shooting a big buck, I guess we'll just call it destiny because that chip told me it was full and I was here the ninth, and um, it wasn't near full, so I was positive there had been deer here almost every day for like the last week and a half but just the last couple days I guess but all right I'm gonna go ahead and get off here and sit here and see what happens I'll let you know also I'm trying to get enough signal to buy a doe tag I have my uh, two any deer tags that I'd already bought but I like to save my any deer tags because if you don't shoot a buck with your rifle or muzzleloader, you can shoot your second buck in um, the second archery season if you shoot one in the first. And um, yeah, you can't do that if you use one of your any deer as a doe tag. So I don't really want to shoot a doe unless I can get a tag bought before the doe comes out, you know, so... Who knows? If I can get it done, I'm going to buy one, and if a nice big doe comes out, we're going to shoot her. But if not, I guess we'll just have to watch. But alright, I'll catch you on a bit.
guess we got the first deer of the evening. She's pretty far. At least I'm pretty sure that's a doe. Sorry, I gotta use my hands. The uh, limb is blocking me from using my camera arm. It's a good sign though. It's the first deer I've seen so far this season. Wish it'd come closer. I actually was able to buy a doe tag earlier, so I might use it on that. But alright, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the camera back on the arm and get ready just in case they start heading this way all of a sudden. According to my rangefinder, she's about 83 yards right now, but she has worked this way quite a bit. She may come all the way in. It does look like she's looking at something down here towards where I am, though. I don't know what it would be, but this tree is blocking a lot of what I can see, so there might be another deer here. I really hope she comes over here. That'd be pretty cool. I'd shoot her. She's standing right next to that telephone pole. That telephone pole is 51 yards. <laughs> She's within range, I just need to get her clear. She keeps heading this way, she'll come through the opening for sure. Actually, I could have probably shot her there if this big tree limb wasn't here in the way. As you can see, it's taking its time getting here. That's all right, I got time. It's 6.50 right now. So we've still got a little bit till dark. This deer should have plenty of time to get to us.
Well, that's not exactly what I expected it to do. <laughs> I figured it was going to keep coming on down the way it was headed. Oh, the squirrel above me is going to get me busted. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Oh, man. I cannot believe that. All she had to do was go about another 10 yards, and I don't know. I don't know if there's a squirrel above me in this tree, making a bunch of sticks and acorns fall. But a ton of them fell, and she spooked. There she is. Oh, I cannot believe that. She was literally going to walk right up here and get shot. Oh, man. It's like she's not even that spooked. Like, what the crap? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention to where she went. Oh, that's so disappointing. Alright guys, well, it's about 7.23. We haven't seen any more deer since that one ran off. And I'm right. I ain't lied, I, I laid eyes on him yet. But there is a squirrel up there. I don't know if the cameras caught it or not. That one or that one. But when I stood up when that deer was right over here behind these trees. There was a squirrel. Ran up that tree there. And started barking. <laughs> well... I'm pretty sure he crossed the canopy into my tree and started throwing stuff at me. <laughs> it's 
about the only thing I can figure out. Because literally, Akron's hit right there. And there was a stick dropped right down there. And that deer was literally right there. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and say it, it probably screwed that up for me. I wish he'd come down the tree. I'd shoot him. Oh, well. We may try to hunt behind my backyard tomorrow morning. Now that I got a doe tag, I might just sit back there and try to get a shot at a doe or something. I don't know. I guess something could always come out here right before. In between now and dark, but... I don't know, after she went down there and stomped and blew for a couple minutes, it wouldn't surprise me if we don't see anything else tonight. But alright, I figured I'd give you guys a little update. I'm going to go ahead and sit back down and sit here another, well, probably 30 minutes and then it'll be too dark to shoot. Unfortunately, that was the last deer or anything we would see that evening. Sorry my videos have been a little uh, slow lately. I've been working on a special project that, well, we got everything pretty much finalized yesterday and I finished the rest Monday, so I'm excited to bring you guys a new project. But alright, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave me a like down below, share this video around, and as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. But alright guys. Have a good one.